Hello everybody. Welcome to the Leaf Hydroponic Farm. Today we will talk about growing cherry tomato in NFT channels. Quite surprisingly, in one of the training programs, my son went to get training from one of the training institutes. And they categorically stated that you should not grow tomatoes in NFT. I don't know why. Growing in NFT is much simpler than growing in soil. No hemming, no tending, much less work, more intensively management, more fruits, more production, more money. Now here you see we are growing successfully cherry tomato in the NFT for the last two years. Look at the trusses because in that training my son was told that the trusses are not very good once you grow in the NFT channels but here you look at the number of fruits, the size of the fruits and you come here and see, just see how good number of fruits is there. And the production per plant will also be quite sufficient. The plant spacing is just 15 inches and then the distance between the two rows is five feet and the distance between the staggered row is just one and a half feet. This is how these plants are growing. Trellising we have doing through these hooks, special tomato hooks, where you can move the plant downward as it grows upward because most of the cherry tomato are indeterminate. That is, they are like a wine. Now, I want to tell you to my farmer friends that a lot of people are making money more than required by supplying the equipment. Now, this hook, when I asked for its price from some of the manufacturers, they told me it is 10 rupee per hook. I have about 1100 plants, so it would have costed me 11,000 bucks. But I got them fabricated in my village. It is 50 pesa per fabrication because the simple twisting was required. And the wire is galvanized iron wire, two rupees worth of wire in every hook. And one or one and a half rupee worth of trellising string. Everything costing about four rupees. So six rupees somebody was making, trying to make me from me unnecessarily, too much. That's why a lot of farming business go into, you can say, loss. So friends, you can grow cherry tomato very comfortably in a poly house in NFT where you don't have any soil, hardly any disease, maybe here and there some nutrient deficiency. You can always control that nutrient deficiency and manage your crop very well against insects. As far as the nutrient solution is concerned, we will talk about it in greater detail, not talking about the valency or talking about the molecular weight or talking about the mole weight or this and that. No, we will simply give you the recipe of the growing cherry tomato in NFT. Tomato is in three stages. One is when they are in the nursery stage. Second is when they are in the first cluster bearing. And third is when they are in the mature stage. All three stages require different nutrients, concentrations and constituents. So we will let you know what are exact nutrient constituents and what is their concentration for three stages of the cherry tomato. No flower fall here. Pollination, you shake them well, or we have done another experiment. We have kept a hive of the bees inside and the bees are also wandering around. Of course, they are not today here because of the cold weather. Otherwise, during the sunny noon, there is a lot of bees hovering around in these tomato plants. So gentlemen, if you want to adopt modern agriculture technology, do some experimentation yourself also, because there are a large number of people who don't want to share the secrets as they want to sell them. I agree that that is an intellectual property, but at the same time, it should be shared, maybe at a cost, maybe free of cost. We will keep on disseminating the knowledge regarding hydroponics, various crops grown in hydroponics, their methodology to grow, 
different type of hydroponic systems. Now look at this length of this channel. The NFT channel here is 60 feet long. Some people say that the NFT channel should be 10 feet long, 15 feet long, 10, uh, 20 feet long. No. NFT channel can be up to 100 feet long. The only disadvantage of having a long NFT channel is that nutrient depletion may take place when the water reaches at the end. And one of the indicators of that nutrient depletion will be that the plants at the end of the NFT channel may be lesser vigor than the plants in the beginning. If you feel like that, then you can have another entry point for the nutrient solution in the middle of the channel. Otherwise, NFT channel can be of any length. It doesn't make any difference. So if you have a longer NFT channel, you will save a lot of money by saving end caps, whereas smaller NFT channel means more end caps, more equipment, more money spent on the capital. So we will keep on disseminating the knowledge how to make hydroponic a simple way of agriculture rather than making it very complicated thing. And we will keep on disseminating the knowledge. Please subscribe to our channel in order to know more, like it, and share it with your friends. We are here to answer every question related to hydroponics. Thank you very much.